from the Times Union Center in downtown Albany, New York. It's a semifinal matchup between the number two seed St. Peter's Peacocks and the number three seeded Iona Gales. Clean look by Crawford, and the Gales are on the board. But all surround Bessick, who recovers nicely. It's a little different when you're posting up Bessick and not one of those other guards. Now that's as much a jump shot by definition as you will ever see. Had a couple of scores early on, but since then the post defense has really tightened up for Iona. Much rising up again, and he's already into double figures. And as you said, Dougie, when they hit 10 or more, they are just about unstoppable. 18 and one on the season when they hit two or more, uh, 10 or more threes. There's three back for Anechionia. AU program, team takeover. And uh, they have produced a lot of talent. He uh, started his college career, George Washington, for transferring to St. Peter's. There's Casimir. Portly to Welton. Bessick blocked it. Baker sneaks in for the ball. Nice pass. How about that? Wow. That's a little inversion. The assist from your center. We're under-recruited coming out of high school. Everybody looked at their games and focused in on some of the things that they couldn't do. All those guys have done is won more games in the MAC than any other senior class. He's got the basketball with 10 on the shot clock. Around much and the finger roll. McGill coming off the bench, presumably, because he's not in the starting lineup. Yeah, this is a guy who averages the most minutes on the season for the team, coming off a 25-point performance. The last 10 minutes of play. Yeah, that's their only field goal during that stretch to speak of. And they go to Washington. Money in the bank. They got to figure out a way to get Jordan Washington more involved. Off the turnover. Much. McGill back into the game. Cassell called for the ball, got it, and buried the triple. Points tonight. Welton. Cassell Jr. off to McGill, up to Severe for three. And the Gales are getting going. He's in 44% from three, but didn't look like he had the confidence to take that shot. Do you think that was a calculated move by Washington, who's going to have a chance for three? Three-point bucket, and here come the Peacocks. He was blocking yep. shots all over the place. One of those active 2,000-point scorers in the country that a lot of people don't know about. They know his dad, Tim Kempton, but uh, his son, a pretty darn good player in his own right. Washington draws the double team. Saw Griffin come into the right, so he spun left and put it in. Welton gives it back to Baker. Had it poked away. Welton picks up the free ball and lays it in. Be hard yeah. on his body. But you want him in late in the game because such a good foul shooter, 93% on the season, but uh, he might be done for the night. Portly high off the window for his first two. And in the four previous finals, Coach Kloos and his Gales are two and two. Portly. That's five points for Portly. But back to the other end, Ricky McGill lays it in. Bell Jr. Let's see if St. Peter's tries to go back to Portly. All ten of his points have come in the last minute. Here's White. He narrow, nails the three to inbound. Finds Cassell. Back to McGill with all sorts of open floor. He's going to go in and lay it up. 73-65. Have called off the Wolves. Sam Cassell Jr. recognizes that. And in a nice move of sportsmanship, will just dribble it out. Iona and Siena finish the regular season tied. In third place, they're going to play tomorrow night for a spot in the NCAA tournament. And they split the two regular season meetings. And for the fifth consecutive year, Tim Kloos' team will play in the MAC championship game.